Hello and welcome to another video on Python programming. In a previous video on operators, you might have seen the different types of operations that we can do, the different types of operators that we can use. Well, I must say that these operators can be used together as well. Multiple different ones can be used together as well. And in this video, I will be speaking about what precedence or what importance each operator has when you use multiple of them in a particular statement or a command. This is what we call operator precedence. So of course there's confusion when we don't know which operator has precedence over the other. And in Python, there is a strict precedence that is followed in such scenarios. So this table gives us the precedence. So as we can see, the, the uh, operators at the top are at the lowest precedence. And as we go down, we get operators with higher precedence over the ones above them. So the low of the operators that we have seen, the OR operator, the AND and the NOT have the lowest precedence. So OR, AND and NOT. And then we have comparisons and identity operators such as the equal to equal to sign, the, the exclamation equal to sign. So these operators come at the next level. Then you have addition and subtraction followed by multiplication division, modulus and floor division. And finally, the highest precedence of all the operators that we have seen till now is the exponentiation or the double asterisk. So let's see a couple of examples that explain this point a little more. So as we can see in this line, we have 20 plus, then there's a five and asterisk three minus 25. And we want to know like, okay, what is the precedence in this case? So as we know, we have the plus sign, we have the minus sign and we have the asterisk sign. So we have addition, subtraction and multiplication. So which one will take precedence over the other? Well, let's uh, refer to this table. As you can see, the addition and subtraction have lesser precedence over multiplication. So this multiplication will happen first. So we actually do five into three first, we get 15. After that, we do plus and minus. So we get five into three, 15. Then we add it or we can subtract it with 25. That does not matter. So we do five into three, 15. And then we do 20 plus 15, which is 35 minus 25. So uh, we should get an answer 10. As you can see, we do get the answer 10. Another example would be uh, where we have this plus symbol, we have a double asterisk talking which shows uh, exponentiation and a subtraction and a division. So again, as we know, exponentiation has the highest precedence. So in this whole operation or this whole expression, we first do uh, the operation associated with the exponential. So we do five to the power two or five exponented, ex exponentiated by the power two. So we have five to the power two, which is 25. Now we look at, okay, once we have that, we still have a addition and we still have a subtraction and we still have a division symbol. And as we know, division takes precedence over addition and subtraction over here. So once we do this, we finally move on to this step where we do the division of six divided by two, where we get three. So we have 25 from this five to the power two, which is 25. And we have three over here. So now we do 20 plus 25 which is 45 minus three, which is 42. And then as you can see, that is the answer over here. Let's look at um, the precedences when it comes to certain of the certain um, comparisons or uh, the logical operations or the comparison operations, so as to speak. So I've created a variable called season with the string summer. I have created the variable age with the value uh, with the string 10. So you don't need to put it in a string. So I have the int object 10. And I have the color, uh, a variable called color with the string pink. Now I'm going to see in this line, uh, I'm going to do an if and else statement. So if you don't know what an if and else statement is, just follow along with me. So what this does is if this condition is met, I will print this statement. Otherwise else I will print this statement. Now what is this first condition? It is saying season equal to equal to summer whether this variable is equal to the string value or as we know about the or operation age is equal to this and color is equal to equal to pink so as we can see in our uh, comparisons and our lo uh, logical operations the precedence for or and and not is or is the lowest precedence uh, and is above that and then not is above that in this we have the or and we have the and so of course the first check is the AND function. So it's going to check whether this whole condition and this condition are uh, 
it's going to it's going to do that operation so it's going to do this and this so is color pink color is indeed pink okay so this this part is true now let's see if this part is true as well now once we're going to check whether this is true or not what we need to see see is uh, this condition itself has an or statement so the first part of it is saying is season summer season is indeed summer as you can see here next part is saying is age greater than zero but this does not matter since the or function just needs one of the operands to be true and in this case this is true in this case it is also true so this is this whole statement is true as well so once we have this statement as true and then this statement as true we can we finally move on to we come back to this and statement and we say since both the operations or both the operands i mean are true the resultant of this and should also be true and since this is true this whole condition we actually move into this section of our ins if else condition where we say okay we can uh, do this statement this print statement and we do not have to print this particular thing so uh, our answer should be our result should be the uh, printing of the string this string okay and as you can see the okay string is actually what is printed over here so this is uh, an example on operator precedence of course it's it always helps to you know try to fiddle around on your own uh, create random expressions out of like out of the top of your head and see how exactly python is uh, evaluating that and try to understand and break it break it down on your own and this is probably the best practice you can do to understand operator precedence as always if you enjoyed this video do drop us a like and subscribe to our channel this helps us a lot thank you once again for watching and i hope to see you in the next video